this is Archer. Thank you for this unique opportunity of joining with you online for MSJ's graduation ceremony of the class of 2020. I know I should have been wearing blue and white, but my wardrobe was bereft of that combination at the moment. I trust this will do. Year 12, when you commenced your HSC studies in the last term of 2019, I am sure that the only thing you had on your mind was getting to the Christmas holidays and then hitting the books in 2020, probably with some trepidation, but with the energy and commitment to do your best. Now, in the final weeks of your school life, you've all done more than your best. You've navigated a year that no one expected. It has made year 12 far more challenging than usual, but you've done it and you are MSJ's proud graduates. Last year, I celebrated the 50th year anniversary of my graduation from MSJ with my class colleagues here at Government House. The collegiality was as natural as on our last day of school back in 1969, as we enjoyed each other's stories, shared our achievements, and reflected on the losses and tough times that life always throws up. And of course, there were all those embarrassing photographs from our school days. It was such a wonderful night. I was only at MSJ for years 11 and 12, and I had the honour of being school captain in 1969. We had a lot of fun. There were school camps and the school musical, The Merry Widow, that we did with Benilde. I wasn't the star of that show, I can assure you. What I am sure of, though, is that my two years at MSJ were amongst the most formative of my life. There is something indefinably special about our school. My English and French teacher, Sister Stanislaus, told me many years later that she had not felt the same spirit in any other school as she had felt at MSJ. If I was trying to pinpoint what it is that was special about my time there, I would say that it was the sense of community and the mutual respect between teachers and students. The teachers were so keen for us to do well and they helped us to get there. They also respected our ideas and listened and understood where we were at as 17 and 18 year olds. From everything I continue to hear about MSJ, that is still the spirit of the school. I'm sure you feel that now, and it is something that you will come to appreciate more as your lives go off in different directions. I have already mentioned the teachers. I still stay in touch with Sister Patricia Malone, who was Sister Jude to us, or more often, Hey Jude, as that was the time not of a pandemic, but of an epidemic called Beatlemania. I also stayed in touch with Sister Stanislaus, or Stan, and I visited her in hospital in Ireland when she was very ill with cancer. They were both brilliant women, and I owe so much to them and the other teachers of MSJ, many of whom I have had contact with over the years. Congratulations on your graduation. I hope when COVID restrictions are over and Government House is open to the public again, you will find time to come and visit. Please let me know if you do. I'm very keen to meet the students of my alma mater, Mount St. Joseph Milpera, a school which we all know produces girls who can do anything. 